Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Stormin, and I ran Hell Mephisto 100 times, and I'm here to show you what I looted. All of these runs were done on one player battle net games. To kick off this video, I'll briefly show my gear and skill tree for these runs. If you don't want to see this, just skip ahead. I used my level 88 Blizzard Sorceress. Um, she's got a pretty standard three-piece Talrasha set with Mage Fists, an Aussie, two Naggle Rings, a Shaco, Trex, and a 35 FCR Spirit. In my offhand, I'm running a CTA, as well as another 35 FCR Spirit. Gives me about 400% magic find. For the skill tree, I have a pretty standard setup, just one hard point into warmth, one hard point into telekinesis, static field, as well as teleport, and then we're maxing ice bolt, maxing ice blast, maxing glacial spike, maxing blizzard, one hard point into frost nova, one hard point into frozen armor, one hard point into frozen orb, as well as 12 points into cold mastery because I have plus seven. Also, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and consider subscribing if you want more of this content. Now let's get into the fun part. On run 3, Mephisto drops a rare amulet. It ends up being 2 to fire skills and 25 better MF. The very next run he drops a unique amulet, but it ended up being Curio. On run 8 I got a plethora of shit, mainly the gold dagger, and also my 999th Eisenhart chestplate. On run 12 he dropped unique light gauntlets, mage fists. On run 15, he dropped the Wall of the Eyeless. On run 20, he ended up dropping a unique Spiderweb Sash, which of course is a Rakdin Mesh. I was honestly so pumped about this one, I needed it for my Hammered In. <laughs> On run 25, I got a unique Tulwar, and it was Alibaba. It's a really good magic find starter. And this is one I haven't seen in a while. On run 28, he actually dropped a unique embossed plate, which is Atmos. I haven't seen this in forever, it seems like. This never drops for me. And this is why I say to always kill the council members, because you'll see a couple more times in this video, they actually drop some really good things. This time it was the Gladiator's Bane. This run, the council member dropped a small charm and unique demon hide boots. The small charm kind of sucked ass, but the demon hide boots were inferno strides. These are actually really decent. Do you remember what I just said about killing the council members? Well, this time they dropped a set mesh belt, which is Talrasha. It actually was an upgrade for me. <laughs> On run 51, Mephisto drops my first of three Talrasha's death masks. On run 57, he drops a unique heavy belt, which is gold wrap. This is my first of two of this series. 20 dropless runs later, thanks Mephisto. On run number 77, I actually got my second Talrasha's death mask. On run 79, I got a set Ogre Maul. This is actually my third piece of Immortal Kings this season, but the first Maul. On run 84, he drops a unique ghost armor, but I have to abandon because of all the cold immunes. It ends up being the Spirit Shroud. Then the second unique heavy belt, you guessed it, Gold Wrap. On run 91, he drops set War Gauntlets. This is one of the few pieces of Immortal Kings that I still do not have. I'll say it again, kill the council members. This one drops a unique Totemic Mask, which is Jalal's. Which is actually a pretty decent Druid starter. You'll never guess who dropped my third death mask. Third one? Yeah, baby, it's the fucking council members. And that's it. Honestly, I got a lot of really good stuff from these runs. If you enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like on the video. And if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, hit subscribe and turn notifications on to know when I post next. See you guys later.